What's that? You shut up! I'm a dungeon jailer, damn you! What in the world happened to him? Why is he fightless? I should check this out. I gotta tell ya, it was a real handful getting him in there. Screw you! Let me out of here! What's up? <sighs> Master Jack, it's terrible. I don't know what happened, really. All of a sudden he went bonkers and started beating on putt. Exactly. No one even touched him when suddenly... I hate that snooty little nerd! You can never tell what he's plotting! You should get him to the infirmary. Master Jack, you are surprisingly calm. Hey, for high-flying knights like me, this is kid stuff. I'm going to the infirmary. What caused this? I'll be darned if I can figure it. I guess you'd have to ask him. You all need to be taught a lesson! I'm not through with you yet! Let me out of here! What is wrong with this guy? He was always a big yapper, but I ain't never seen him violent like this before. So why now? Beats me. Hey! Patrick! You oversized cement hit! Let me out of here! He used to be as meek as a mouse with me. Always following me around real quiet-like. And you should see how strong he is now. We barely got him into the cell. I hope you're ready, because I'm gonna shut that big mouth of yours for good! We can't do anything with him. I just don't know what to do. Hmm. You can stop worrying now. Sir Dinus! Who's he? Huh? You... You don't know Sir Dinus? You must be Jack Russell. General Dynas of the Royal Radiata Knights. Wow, the General? So that means... That's right. He's the big boss of all the Knights. Stand back, please, Jack. Patrick, open the cell. Huh? But, sir... Oh, goody! So it's going to be the General, is it? I hope you're ready, General! He's really very dangerous, sir. I know what I'm doing. Open the door. Huh? Oh, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> the big General's come out to play! Patrick. Unlock the door and get out of the way, fast. Whoa! Is... is he dead? No, he's just been knocked out. We need him alive to conduct our tests. Test? You mean this isn't the first time someone's gone nuts like this? Ha! <laughs> Very astute, young man. Yes, this appears to be another case of the plague. We've received numerous reports of people suddenly turning violent. We're keeping a close eye on the situation. The plague? You mean a disease caused this? This does not leave the castle, do you understand? might cause a panic among the people.
Goodbye. I'll be seeing you again, Jack. Sir! Whoa! He is way too cool! Except for the bald thing. If he heard you say that, he'd knock your head off.
Hello. Yes. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hello.
か Lord Jasna, please try to stay calm. Stay calm? How do I stay calm? My Ridley, my precious, precious Ridley. Those filthy orcs, I won't let them get away with this. I've been working my fingers to the bone, trying to encourage friendship and trade with the non-humans. And this is the thanks I get. If it's not dwarves, then it's orcs. Fairy creatures grow more insolent by the day. All because I reached my hand out to them. They need to be taught a lesson. I completely understand how you must feel. No one can question the enormous contribution you have made to the building of peace between the races. 
but that is why we should not let a moment of passion undo all that you have done. Hmm. I'm fine. Just forget about the non-humans for now. But I won't forget my Ridley was placed in such terrible danger. Natalie was supposed to watch over them. She shouldn't have allowed this to happen. But the responsibility ultimately lies with Gantz. That fat, incompetent fool. Hmm. If I may make a suggestion, my lord. Perhaps Ridley should be given her own brigade. Make Ridley a captain? Yes. Then you can assign only the best, most trustworthy knights to her command. It would, I think, be far safer for her than continuing to serve in the Rose Cochon Brigade. Brilliant, Lucian, of course! A magnificent idea! But there is just one thing missing from your plan. What's that, sir? It does nothing to make me feel better about what happened! What about those infernal halfwits in the Rose Cochon? It was their fault that my Ridley was hurt! Why don't you have Captain Gantz and the young trainee discharged from the Knights? Really? You think so too? Of course! They couldn't expect to get away with anything less! But wait... There's still a problem. And that is? Locks. He would never agree to it. Let me look into that. I'm sure there are a number of suitable pretexts we can employ. Hmm. My lord. Lord Jasnin, what are you saying? Forgive me, Lord Lox, but you are cruel to make me repeat this when it pains me so much to say it. Very well, once more then, the Rose Cochon Brigade must be disbanded. I want Ridley reassigned and made captain of a new brigade. As for Captain Gantz and the trainee Jack, they are to be dismissed at once. Is that clear enough? I'm sorry Ridley was hurt, but the Knights are under my command. By intervening, you are overstepping the bounds of your authority. Overstepping my authority? I am the Lord Chamberlain. I have the right to offer advice as I see fit. I have received Gans's report. I can find no fault in his judgment. With what crime would you charge them? They did all that they could to protect Ridley. Surely you realize that, Lord Jasnin. Everything they could? Is that supposed to be some kind of joke? Not only did Gantz fail in his duty, he put his entire command in grave danger. I also understand that the young trainee, Jack, has been insubordinate to his superiors. The two of them have besmirched the honor, dignity, and trust of the glorious Radiata Knights. It grieves me deeply, but we have no choice. If you were truly grieved, you would give them a chance to restore that honor. To impose such severe punishment for a single mistake is unprecedented. Gantz is the son of Sir Gawain. Jack is the son of Sir Cairn. Those men were two of our finest knights. We cannot simply wipe out their names with a single gesture. Lox, I did not realize you were so old-fashioned. Knights cannot ride on the coattails of their parents. I did not expect to hear that from you. Is there a problem? In any case, I refuse. You are aware, of course, that the dismissal of the knights in question is mandated by the knights' charter. Uh -huh. Now, who was it who wrote the charter? Can you help me out here, Larks? Hmm? I do. Oh, of course I am sorry. I'm afraid that my memory just isn't what it used to be. So, Lox, do you really intend to waive the punishment that you yourself laid down in that document? Very well, Lord Jesney. 
I will see to it that the Rose Cochon Brigade is disbanded as you have requested. Excellent! I'll let you draw up the orders. I'm sure you'll want to inform the Brigade yourself. Of course.